Hello everybody, Robbie Lee here with another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I know, we're nearing the end of our journey. Uh, <laughs> we got about seven days left until, oh, <clears throat> until Pokemon Sword. Although we might be in for some luck anyways, because I doubt I'll be able to buy it day one. So we'll definitely get this game finished beforehand. Congrats, kid! Boy, though, what a shock. I never thought a criminal would use a Pokemon Gym as their hideout. That's it. I've decided. I'll look after the Viridian City Gym from now on. I don't really like to get tied down, so I've always said no when they ask about it, but I'm finally ready. I'll be the Gym Leader from now on. That's great. Thanks. With an awesome trainer like me around, I'm pretty sure that Kano region will be safe from troublemakers like Team Rocket forever. So then, Raijin, time for you to take on the Pokemon League. Just keep going along Route 22 to the west of here, and you won't miss it. The Elite Four are tough opponents. Don't you dare lose. I will. <laughs> so, I'll have to apologize ahead of time. Uh, I kept trying to clear my sinuses, but it's like not working. I don't know. But I hope you all had a good day yesterday and today. Sorry there was no videos. Uh, I almost didn't make any today, but uh, I'll just I'll have to do what I can. I'll just lose out on an hour or so of trying to make money. Okay. So, I don't know... Actually, I forgot to check my TMs, because maybe it's just a TM. I forgot, in Pokemon Silver and Gold, when you got to the Kano region, was Gary the Viridian City Gym Leader? It's been a long time, so I don't remember. But that's, that's good continuity. No? Huh. Yeah, I don't know where to get strength. I feel bad not tackling any of the the optional dungeons to get a uh, certain Pokemon. But I guess it's inconsequential. I mean, you think they would make the the things impossible to miss? Consider their abilities Pikachu has to learn. Well, oh well. Raijin! I finally caught up to you. I got an Earth Badge too. That means we can finally get into the Pokemon League. Does that mean you beat Gary? I heard the Elite Four are incredibly strong, but there's no turning back now, right? You think you're ready, Raijin? Show me the Pokemon you've raised. Well, we have our first battle of the episode against our rival and friend, Gokai. Pidgeot. I see. How unfortunate for you. Alright, Pikachu, hit him with Thunderbolt. A good way to start off the match. Oh yeah. <laughs> this should be my debut episode of Death Stranding, but I wasn't able to get it and I'm very mad. You have no idea how bad I've been wanting to play that game, everybody. Alright, Charmeleon. Show them how it's done. The cats are being crazy at the living room window. Yeah, whenever they see the leaves fall, they like try and break through the window to get to them. Tremeleon, hit him with Fire Blast! Wow. I think Vileplume had such good defenses against its uh, weakness. Charmeleon, use Flamethrower. Hmm. 
Good job, Charbelian. All right, Blastoise, show them what you got. <laughs> I just felt Blastoise would be a little bigger. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. Hit it with Bubble Beam. Our first Mega Evolution, everybody. Mega Blastoise. Uh, Raijin, hold on. This doesn't seem very fair. Hit him with Skull Bash, Ultimate Mega Blastoise. Uh, excuse me, Gokai. What do you think you're doing? This is a duel, no healing. Oh. What's going on? Ah, uh, Marirak's too defensive. Alright, time to pull out the big guns, Mega Blastoise. Hit him with Hydro Pump. Endure this, Marowak. <laughs> oh, hey, it's, I just remember that's the Cubone he adopted. Like the continuity. Alright, Venusaur, you're up. Oh boy, Venusaur, uh, uh, that, that end view of you isn't very flattering. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Venusaur, you're my little buddy. Alright, what should we do? Start things off with Toxic. Ha, huh, you think I'm scared of your thunder? Good job, Venusaur. Barely felt it. But I can assure you, you'll be feeling that toxic very soon. Wait, you evolved your Eevee. How are you allowed to do that? And now we grow. Good job, Venusaur. Sure, we don't care. Give it all you got, Jolteon. You know, Gokai, it doesn't really help your case that I have a hard counter for all of your Pokemon. Let's do it, Venusaur. How beautiful. How simply gorgeous, using the forces of nature to do your bidding. I've raised my Pokemon up this much, and I still can't beat you, huh? That's right. You know, Raijin, I've always felt like I needed to look after you, ever since we were young. But I think, I think you're the one who has more talent as a trainer. It's frustrating. I've never felt this way before. Is this what makes it fun to raise Pokemon? Whatever it is, I know I don't want to lose again. It's weird to even have to ask, but let me go on ahead first. That's it, because you got to go become champion so I can face you in a final epic battle. I don't care about any of you. Man, 
Man, I'll never forget coming here for the first time in the game and hearing this music. I was like, man, this is it. The final stretch of the journey. Only truly skilled trainers can pass through here. Oh, that's indeed a boulder badge. Go right ahead. You know, why even have this multiple check system? You can pass this point only if you have a Cascade Badge. Oh, that's Cascade Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. I mean, it makes no sense if you think about it. Cause like, you should have seen one guy's like, you need all eight badges to pass. Oh, you're good. You know what, you know what I mean, everybody? It's, it's, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I'll sell it to you. No point in reading all this. It's pretty much the same aside from the, the badge. Oh man, this this poor gatekeep. It's probably all pruny. Oh, I wonder if strength is going to be needed to... Ooh. Because that would be kind of funny. Since they're kind of gating you with uh, the HMs also. You just watch yourself, mister. Uh, Out of, out of our way. Wow, I, I like the... May as well. <laughs> if you got an opportunity to power level, you may as well. All right, Chansey, I'm gonna have to ask you to to stop what you're doing. You're being very aggressive, Chansey. Uh oh, I don't want to waste. Huh. I'll use it once. It barely helped! Chansey, jump back over, please. Oh my god. <laughs> See, I don't have a lot of room, and I need it straight on. Chansey, hold on. See, I, I can't do it. All right, there we go. Good enough. Please just work. Thank you. Ugh. Yada yada. And finally, we get our Charizard. I like how Charizard gets favored with two Mega Evolutions, even though I feel one is way cooler than the other. Hey, buddy! Yeah, I figure keeping Eevee as is. Sorry, I didn't read his, uh. Oh! If I evolved Eevee, I'd just end up with two of the same type, so it's like, what's the what's the point? But I don't know if Eevee as it, on its own is decent. The target is struck with large opposite wings, spread wide to inflict damage. Uh, eh, maybe I'll get rid of Fire Spin. Oh, Chansey, how you anger me. Hey! Out of our way. This seems like an awful waste of space just to have all these gates. I mean, sure, it's imposing, but...
Thank you, my good fellow. Oh wait, you need strength to complete Victory Road too. Where the heck do you get it? Are you... Oh my God. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, so it's Fuchsia City again. Is this what the gold teeth was about? I, mean, I don't know how you're even supposed to. Well, actually, I I realized I never reviewed that item. Yeah, I got. Oh, darn it! I was in too much of a rush. Making sure there's no houses around here. So it's probably one of these houses. Wow, your bill's granddad? Oh yes, that must have been uh Mr. Dazzle. Alright everyone just bear with me. Yuck, they're all sandy and gritty. Anyway, thanks, Sonny. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word that I said. Not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office, even. Let me give you something for your trouble. Ooh. But the safari zone doesn't even exist. And here, I'll teach you something to eat. A secret technique called Strong Push. What's this, Sonny? You'd rather have your Pokemon learn the secret technique? Well, I suppose it makes no difference to me. I come this way and have a look. You sometimes find big blocks like this one in caves and other such places, right? You can push them around if you take a moment to gather up your strength first. The trick is this. You grit your teeth as hard as you can, if you got them. Then all at once, just let her rip. You like that, Pikachu? I know, Pikachu. You're a strong... You're a super strong Pikachu. Hooey. Look at that. Learning strong push is just one go. Your Pikachu is a clever one, sonny. And what do we have here? It's a little Diglett. Oh, thank you, Diglett. We always love to find nuggets. Anyways, we have a new outfit to try on. <laughs> Pikachu, look at you and your little your little explorer's outfit. My turn. All right, let's see here. Can't say I uh I could make camo work, but yeah, look at us, rare to go. Purdy, no! Oh, geez, Purdy's here. She's trying to knock over my tray. Stop it! Well, everyone, I think we should. Excuse me. Oh, alrighty. 
So, jeez. We made, like, no progress today. Yeah, had I not looked that up, who knows how stuck I'd be for how long. So I apologize for that. Um. Alright, so... I'm gonna leave this episode off here. Oh, hold on. Oh, <gasps> Pikachu, you got me a present? You're so thoughtful. Ooh. Could it be from Alola? Thank you, Pikachu. You're the best. Just for that, you get four pets. One. Two. Three. And a four. And a nose boop. Boop. Well, everyone, this has been Robbie Lee and Pikachu. Uh, if you like what you see, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful evening. Say bye, Pikachu. Pikachu, say bye. Oh, by the way, next time we'll be attacking the, uh, the Seafoam Islands. Bye.